Hello! Today we're in for a huge treat. The President of Unknown Worlds, Ted Gill, and their publisher Krafton approved an exclusive interview about the next Subnautica, and I'm here with Abraxas, a community strategist and animator from the Subnautica development team who is also working on the studio's second game, Moonbreaker, an action-packed digital tabletop tactics game. That's a mouthful. And I just want to say a huge thank you to Krafton and Ted Gill personally for allowing this interview to happen. Abraxas as well, thank you very much for taking time to speak with me about this. You're very welcome. Speaking of Moonbreaker, isn't there like some big news on Moonbreaker or something? Something happened recently? Yeah, sure. So we released Moonbreaker 1.0 on Thursday last week on Steam. And uh, we couldn't be more excited because it's a completely different game than what Unknown Worlds has done before. It's turn-based, it's tactical. Uh, you can build your own crews and paint your own miniatures just like you would with a real tabletop game and it's fantastic and we're so, so happy with it. Well, you heard it there. If you enjoy Unknown Worlds and what they create with the Subnautica series, why not support Moonbreaker as well and give that a try? I, it's one of my favorite games in all honesty. In 2023, I played a ton of it. Now we get down to the brass tacks. So there were a lot of questions. Uh, we had <laughs> thousands of questions, and it was a nightmare for me and my friends to go through. My friends and I to go through. Uh, so, <laughs> I don't know what you can answer. I'm sure there are things you can't answer, but I'm gonna ask them anyways. Obviously don't say anything that could get you in trouble with your studio or with your job or anything like that, but give us every ounce you can! I am going to desperately give you as much information that I possibly can. So, question one. Will there be Leviathans? Yes, there will be Leviathans. It's a Subnautica game after all. Will there be vehicles? Yes, there will in fact be vehicles. I can't tell you about them, but there will be vehicles with an S on the end. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm actually getting excited. <laughs> I'm such a fan of the damn game. Um, so this one was asked about 500 times and I'm not even exaggerating that. Do you still plan on having multiplayer. So we never actually said that we'd planned any- Hi! So a lot has happened since he answered that question in the interview, and I had to bring him back because there were some leaks, as you can tell. <laughs> so... Yeah, uh, you guys have had a uh, very eventful time since we last spoke, oh, huh? Dude, it's been a day. <laughs> it's been a day? I would say it's been a freaking day. So, things have changed. Hello. Uh, we're a couple days into the future for this one now, because the multiplayer answer that I had from Obraxis is no longer valid, and now Obraxis is here to clear the air and everything else. Hello, Obraxis. How are you? Is everything on fire? I hope not. Hello. Uh, everything is underwater, and that's normal for us, so it's all fine. <laughs> so, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and start sharing my screen with you, and we're just gonna answer the tough questions now, because... Uh, the last answer is no good, but now you can kind of go into a little bit more, uh, depth with the answer that you had before, because it's kind of out there that co-op is confirmed, so that's, that's a bonus, I guess. Just give me one second. Okay, sweet. So, you, you know there's been a bunch of stuff happening. Um, you guys released this statement, uh, a little while ago, uh, that the game is not multiplayer focused. Co-op will be entirely optional, uh, and how you play the game, and you'll still be able to play it in single player. Um, which, I mean, it's kind of out of the bag now. Do you have any further comment on anything that you guys released as a, uh, as a studio, um, in relation to some leaks that happened? Yeah, just, um, just that uh, we had a lot of people think that we were, it was going to be a multiplayer focused game and that is not the case. Uh, the game is going to be a single player game that you can also invite your friends to play if you would like in a co-op mode. So you'll be able to play either single player or co-op with your friends, but it is a single player uh, experience just that you can play with your friends so like is that like a linear co-op experience or like still open world co-op experience it, it, it'll be similar to Subnautica 1 where it's an open world but it does have some linear paths in there kind of like um, playing Subnautica 1 but with the Nitrox mod I would say it, it yeah it's kind of Subnautica 1 but uh, playing with your with your friends um, except in a brand new world uh, with updated graphics and Unreal Engine 5, and uh, yeah, uh, lots of crazy new creatures and leviathans and things, and uh, submarines. <laughs> so when you say co-op, do you mean like four-player co-op, ten-player co-op, a million-player co-op, or like two-player co-op? What, what do you mean by, by co-op? 
So it's not going to be a million players. It's not even going to be a hundred players. It's going to be a small amount of players, which we're still kind of deciding uh, that you'll be able to play together with a small group of friends. So we have all the information right here that it's not intended for release in 2024, obviously, and you're going to be sharing more information later in this year, which you've already said later in this video, uh, because <laughs> we're in the future. The video is in the past now, technically. Um, but I did want to touch point on the Craft On um, financial report that they uh, they released, um, where a lot of this information came from. So uh, Subnautica 2. Is that, is that the official title or is that just a placeholder thing? No, that's the official title. It will be Subnautica 2. It's going to be called um, Subnautica 2. Yes, it's going to be called Subnautica 2. Um, I do want to point out, though, that uh, the games as a service model uh, on that slide is, is not quite correct. Uh, we're not doing games as a service model. We are basically doing what we did before, where we have an early access game. We keep putting out new content. We're not going to do battle passes, uh, you, you know, like season passes or, uh, you know, where you have to pay a subscription or anything like that, really. So it's, it's going to be basically like the Subnautica development that we did before I, i'm just looking at this here it says the the co-op we already covered this obviously i don't want to touch base on this but it says to uncover the mysteries on an entirely new alien planet we're not returning to 4546b no we are not it is a new planet with new creatures new mysteries and we hope people get really excited about it. Was it difficult to decide how to make another underwater planet like that? Is it going to share any similarities to 4546B? Or is it even in the same system as that planet? How, how would that even happen? Well, like a few of my other answers that I gave in the past, <laughs> um, I don't really want to give away too many spoilers. Um, but, you know, there will be story threads that will link this game to the other games. Um... However, the planet is completely different. And I think when people get to see the sky in the game, that they will realize that it's very different. So I'm assuming what you mean by that is you're going to have like a, instead of the giant planet that you see in the original Subnautica, it's going to be a moon, but it's going to be broken. <laughs> it uh, it might be something completely different. So along with that financial report and then a official statement for you guys, which is found right here, obviously, there were some pictures attached. Are you able to confirm that this is actually Subnautica 2? This is actually, like, this is your in-game, you know, like live game screenshot absolutely this is an in-game real-time screenshot it is not concept art it is not really staged you know it's like this is the game running it's going to be even better than this because this is where we're at now and we've already said we're not going to launch into early access until uh sometime next year so the game's going to look even better than this I'm assuming you can't say the names of any of these at all or what this submarine is or what this little dangly thing on the back is. It looks like it might attach to stuff. Uh, I, I don't think I can, but it is a smaller submersible, as you can probably tell from the scale against the smaller fish. Um, kind of Seamoth-esque almost, you could say. And then um, we have the larger shark there. And uh, we do we do have names for them, but I don't know I don't know if we can say those quite yet. So there's nothing hidden in this, right? Like there's nothing that you uh, that you know of that's hidden, right? Uh, there's a little something potentially hidden in there. I don't know if it'll make it to the final game, but it's a little something yeah on the left hand side that if you look really closely, you might be able to recognize. But you'll have to you'll have to kind of you know, X-Files zoom in and enhance and stuff. I don't have an enhance button, unfortunately. Hang on a second. Are these eyes? Oh, shit! I can see that clear as day now that I'm staring at it. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> so anyways, there's something, apparently, possibly, right here. Uh, looks like a some kind of crab thing or something. I see two eyeballs, for sure, I think. But he won't confirm it. That's totally fine. Break my heart. Smash it to pieces. It's cool. Moving on. That's my job. <laughs> So we have another picture here. This was actually in the Craft On financial report itself um, that went along with what you guys released. This is another in-game picture, I'm assuming, of Subnautica 2? Yeah, so this is another in-game uh, picture running in real time um, with these lovely two fish in the foreground and a lot more of like the diversity of the, the plant life and things that we've been working on. I'm actually so amazed that you guys already have this much done. Like It looks so good already, and it doesn't look like you're reusing assets. 
Well, I'm going to continue with the interview that we have recorded a couple days ago now in the future because there's still a lot of stuff that you answer in that that uh, and give hints to, I guess, that would be valuable for people. Uh, some questions have been cut out now because obviously this happened. So, um, you know, some things that were no longer relevant to keep in will be entirely chopped out. So there's a couple less questions than what the video originally had. But I think that we got a pretty fair trade because we got to see something in, uh, in Subnautica 2 and know that it's Subnautica 2, which is pretty damn cool. Thank you very much, Abraxas for jumping in such short notice to help me out with this and just clarify some things and comment um, as like a official from the person that's living in this world with everything <laughs> underwater right now. Um, but thank you very much. Oh, you're very welcome and thanks for having me on. And hi community. So do you plan on upgrading the AI creatures so they are more intelligent when interacting with the players and the world? I remember months ago, Charlie spoke about this actually for the first Subnautica where you guys wanted to make it so like you would see creatures interact with the environment, but you could also interact with the environment in unique ways. Uh, yeah, so there's actually been a really big push for more complex behaviors from creatures, from the creatures team, because we actually have a creatures team now, which is amazing, like a proper creatures uh, team where they're doing AI, the art and all of that stuff. Uh, and it's it's great because we, we were never really able to have like a specific creatures team on SN1 uh, or below zero. Um, and while like we're not creating a full-blown aquatic simulation, but I think people are going to be very happy with how creatures like interact with themselves, each other and the world and the player and stuff. Will you offer rolling DLC or updates once Subnaut the next Subnautica is out? Well, we want to get the game finished first before we start thinking about DLCs or updates and things like that. Like, like getting the game done is the most important thing and what's fully focusing the team right now. Are you going to allow vehicles to be upgraded? And if yes, will those upgrades change the appearance of the vehicles in a bigger way than the current version of Subnautica? That's a very interesting question. Um, as I mentioned before, we are going to have vehicles. As for updates and customizations, I don't think we're quite ready to talk about those yet. I, just, I mean that in the context of like, you add the torpedo system to the Seamoth and it adds like the little torpedo chamber, you know? Like the aesthetic of the, of the vehicle, but... Yeah. If I were to start talking about some of that stuff, it might give away some other things. So I think for now, we're just not going to talk about that much. Uh, but as the year goes on, you'll start to see hints and glimpses of these kind of things. So keep your eyes peeled. So I've got two questions I have to ask you from um, some people that were well that are developers in Architects of the Unknown with the Gargantuan Leviathan mod. Um, one is from Slendy. And he's asking if the next Subnautica game will give the community a, a, the ability to easily mod the game. Whatever we do, the modding scene is going to mod the game anyway, right? If we can make it a little easier, we will. But it's more of a case of no matter what happens, whether whether we do have time to make it easy for modders or not, it's going to happen anyway. This one is from Lee23, another developer uh, working at Architects of the Unknown, and he was asking, are there plans to bring back any cut features or unused concept art from the previous game? So I think we do tend to look at some of the older concept art we used to have and be like, what if, you know? Uh, what if this one could come back? Or what if this one could be actually developed? Because concept art is just that, it's just concepting. It doesn't mean it was ever going to go into production. Sometimes you just do concept art for the sake of trying ideas out and things uh, but it, so it doesn't mean we will ever use it but it's always nice to look back sometimes for inspiration i would say though if you're a fan of the publicly available subnautica concept art i will say that i think you'll be happy with the direction we're taking the next subnautica in terms of look ob2276 asked did they take any inspiration for the new game from any of the most popular mods that exist today for subnautica so we, we we've played a lot of the public popular mods right um it's been really fun to see what people love and like gravitate towards um whilst they might not inspire things directly they do help us show what the community really loves and gets enthralled by. So we keep an eye on it, but I wouldn't say it inspires thing. It inspires things like directly. Caspian1993 asks, in the Subnautica timeline, will the game be before the events of Subnautica 1 or after or during the events of Subnautica Below Zero? So currently it'll be set sometime after Below Zero but we're not quite ready to talk about the timeline in much detail apart from that. 
Uh, remember, it, like this could change depending on how early access goes, right? Um, and what player feedback we get. Currently, it's set some time after below zero, the specifics of which we'll get into as time goes on. General asks, will the next Subnautica game be an underwater-focused game, or will it have any notable landmasses? So the game is going to be predominantly set underwater, just like the first Subnautica. There might be areas that uh, you traverse out of water, uh, but the majority of the game will be underwater, very much like the first game. Retrout asks, will we be seeing bigger subs and mix? That is a very specific question. I will say there will be submarines of various sizes. What that size is, I will not say. And as for mechs, next question. <laughs> Krusty Comrade asked, how I much... That name. <laughs> I can't... It took me like... It took me a good 30 seconds before I could get that out. How much will base construction be overhauled or improved on? So this time around, base building has its own team just like the creatures do and they're working like really super hard to make it awesome and they've done some amazing improvements i don't particularly want to spoil those improvements for you but i think once people have a go at them they'll see oh okay that makes so much sense um people are going to be so excited i think and posting all their new bases all over the internet uh once they're able to get their hands on this so i i am so excited to play around with a new new base building um i just can't say a lot about it samantha asked if the kara will be returning so i'm trying not to say these words for any of these answers but this one i'm going to i'm gonna say no comment because it's spoilers right darian asked will we be seeing old characters returning like margaret al Robin, Riley. That one's actually a very difficult question to answer because it could potentially give away some story beats. So much like the other question and answer, I'm going to say no comment due to potential or non story spoilers. Debbie asked, will you be making any Leviathans that are bigger than the guard? So there will be Leviathans. There will be a variety of sizes. I'm not going to comment on whether they're bigger than the Gargantuan one in them from the mod, but I will say that I've seen that mod and it's awesome. I love watching, like, there's clips everywhere of that Gargantuan Leviathan, like, jumping up and out of the sea and stuff, and I love it, so... But no comment on the size of the Leviathans in the next Nautica. Not yet, anyway. So Chris asked if you can give any details on the map size the flora and fauna in comparison to the previous games. I would love to give loads of details on this, but it would spoil a lot of the game. What I will say though, is that it is a very, it is going to be a very big map and it's going to expand throughout early access. Um, without giving too much away, suffice to say it will be big enough for fans for years to come. Draconian asked, will there be a black market for things like exotic pets? They've always wondered if anyone wanted to buy a baby reaper or a sea dragon baby and attempt to raise it like a pet. See, that's a very interesting question. Um, black market doesn't like sound like something that we would do. Uh, they're kind of asking if like they can raise a pet and maybe swap them or something with yeah. friends. It I sounds think. like they want like a pet system or something like that where you can get like a, a baby reaper. Maybe not on the black market, but, you know, if there was a trading system, I'm assuming they're assuming there's a trading system. Uh, but maybe you could, you know, steal a baby and raise it yourself. <laughs> steal a baby doesn't <laughs> sound very Subnautica-like. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm going to probably say no, kind of. But we will have to see if, if people want a market of exotic pets, if they shout loud enough. I, I guess we, <laughs> we could have a look and see how popular that would be. But it doesn't sound like something that we would probably do. Uh, yeah, I mean, although, I mean, we did have people pick up like eggs and, and you know, peepers and cuttlefish and try to put them in the bioreactor in SN1 just, just for some power. So if I, I guess if systems are there for people to do that kind of thing, they could do something similar in the next game maybe 
if there is a facility such as that, but who knows. So Atlas was asking if we will be playing as a new character. Hmm. That one kind of would spoil a bit of the reveals that we're going to be doing in the future, so I'm going to have to pass on that one. So I have a question from Grim Reaper, but I'm going to modify it slightly and ask only the section where he's asking if there will be a void in the next Subnautica. Well, I think there's going to be a void no matter what, because during early access, there's going to be like a limit on where the world is until we build it. And so there will be a giant void of like nothingness. But we found in the first game that that was actually pretty interesting and pretty cool. I can't really say if we're doing anything specific, but love the concept of the void, like exploring the darkness and things like that. And I'm sure we're going to have pockets of like almost nothingness and things there for people to get really creeped out by. So uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing what we can do there. So this next Subnautica, is it technically Subnautica 3? Is it Subnautica 2? What what officially would it, would you consider this in the with the different games that exist for Below Zero and just Subnautica? What what is this? Like is it Subnautica 3? So my last question, and it's the biggest question and I I'm very doubtful that anything can come out of it. But I have to ask for everyone else. Can we see something currently in development or a concept? Are we allowed to see anything? You will be allowed to see things. And in fact, we are going to show things this year. Can we see anything right now? What? You... No. <laughs> <laughs> like, wait a second. No. Excuse me while I just laugh in leaks because we did get to see something. Unfortunately, we weren't able to see more, but this was a pretty good teaser along with what we had seen from the Craft On report. But I don't have a high resolution image of that like I do with this. So this one we can really zoom in now and see because I found a, uh, a native... 4K picture of all of this stuff. And I just want to, uh, I just want to touch base on this submarine real quick because I'm here editing this video, right? And I'm thinking about, you know, like, you can't comment on mechs and, and there's nothing like that. So hear me out on this, okay? I could be completely wrong. Doesn't this look like a cockpit? Seriously. Like, it looks like it doubles as a submarine, but those look like connectors for something. That's not, like, a normal design. That looks like it would open up and lock onto something. I think we're looking at the head of, like, a Jaeger or, like, a mech or something that this... Uh, tiny submarine would attach to and become that's just me I, I that's that's what that's screaming that to me right now and obviously if you look back here now because it's a little bit higher resolution clearly you could see like three eyes right here that's definitely a crab creature like I'll try and outline it with my mouse but that's the shell right there it's behind the rock right here go down got the legs right here and the legs are kind of just po poking out it goes all the way back here too it reminds me of like a uh, like the rock puncher but like a very uh, distant cousin of it, and it's kind of wild, but there is some kind of messed up creature back here that was hidden uh, in the background of this entire thing. You can see another leg right here very clearly. That, if you can see that, let me know in the comment section. But back onto this submarine, because uh, I don't know, this, this interview just, something didn't sit right with that, or like the size of mechs or whatever. I genuinely think that that's what's going to happen with this. I, I know they explored modular in Below Zero, and now they have this submarine that looks very different on the tail end, I, I, it just makes sense to me. It just, it just absolutely makes sense to me that this would be a modular, uh, cockpit for a, like a mega cyclops, or maybe we get like a giant battle robot or something. I don't know, but either way, let's get to the end of the interview. If you may have already seen something and not even realized. Wait a second. Hang on. Don't play with my emotions like that. I'm not that kind of girl. What are you saying? Uh, look, we were very clear that... We st when we this year is the year of the next Subnautica, so keep your eyes peeled because you never know there might be things already out there that no one has spotted yet. So I'm assuming because of the events on Abraxas Prime, there will be no weapons still in the next Subnautica. Can you confirm if there will be combat or anything like that? Or uh, did I say that right, Abraxas Prime? I'm pretty sure I did. I've heard it so many times. Yeah, the, the massacre on Abraxas Prime uh, is pivotal. It absolutely pivotal in the Subnautica universe, of course. Um, so it has repercussions throughout the history of the game. And uh, you'll get to find those out in the next Subnautica. Like, did they just decide they wanted to take your name and just make like a, a big bit or something in the in the game and somehow an inside office joke became like a, a, a lore part of the game? 
Yeah, so, yes, Tom and I uh, had a really good like rep, rep with each other, and uh, he decided <laughs> to put me in the game. He also did Corey as well as you know Strader five or six or something. Oh, or I nine. didn't pick up I on that. Remember. Yeah, that's Corey Strader, art director. So he's he got in the game too. And I will say there's more Easter eggs in the next Subnautica that I've seen already. Um, so you'll need to pe keep it, your your eyes peeled for the Easter eggs. Well, that's everything I could get for you about the next Subnautica for now. And that is pretty well it. Abraxas, thank you so much for taking time to speak with me today. It is deeply appreciated by myself and tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people around the world that were interested in seeing what you had to say to some pretty arguably tough questions and some that wait, literally couldn't be answered, which is perfectly fine. Oh, it's all right. Thank you very much for having me. It's been great. And uh, thank you to your community as well for giving us all the support that you have been. And uh, yeah, go check out Moonbreaker when you can on Steam. And we'll see you in the next Subnautica.